Hi, so this is the second video in the series. I'm reading Letters from a Stoic by Seneca. In the last video I shared the third letter of the book in which Seneca is writing to Lucilius, who is his friend. And he is sharing the very foundations of true friendships in that letter. Today I am going to read the sixth letter in this book in which Seneca is writing to Lucilius again and is sharing more in detail about the friendships and about the relationships that two people share. He is giving examples of uh, mentors and pupils and he is giving example of one of his own followers. So he is mentioning, Seneca is mentioning in this letter uh, some big names in philosophy. Some of the names you might be knowing like Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, these are big names. So Socrates was, um, was the teacher and Plato, Aristotle and many other philosophers were his followers. The other big names are that you must know. Uh, in this in this particular series of philosophy lectures and the philosophy discourse that we are having is one is Zeno who was the founder of the Stoic philosophy to which Seneca belongs to and the other is Epicurus who was the founder of the Epicurean uh, philosophy and these two schools of thought were rivals at that time the time of uh, 3rd century BC roughly so I'll just uh, read the letter first and then I'll share with you my views on it. So the sixth letter says, I see in myself, Lucilius, not just an improvement, but a transformation. Although I would not venture as yet to assure you or even to hope that there is nothing left in me needing to be changed. Naturally, there are a lot of things about me requiring to be built up or fined down or eliminated. Even this, the fact that it perceives the failings it was unaware of in itself before, is evidence of a change for the better in one's character. In the case of some sick people, it is a matter of congratulation when they come to realize for themselves that they are sick. I should very much like then to share this also sudden metamorphosis of mine with you. Doing so would make me start to feel a surer faith in the friendship that exists between us. That true friendship which not hope, nor fear, nor concern for personal advantage ever sunders. That friendship in which and for which People are ready to die. I can give you plenty of examples of people who have not been lacking a friend but friendship. Something that can never happen when mutual inclination draws two personalities together in a fellowship of desire for all that is honorable. Why cannot it happen? Because they know that everything and especially their setbacks is shared between them. You can't imagine how much of an alteration I see each day bringing about in me. Send me too, you will be saying, the things you have found so effectual. Indeed, I desire to transfer every one of them to you. Part of my joy in learning is that it puts me in a position to teach. Nothing however outstanding and however helpful will ever give me any pleasure if the knowledge is to be for my benefit alone. If wisdom were offered me on the one condition that I should keep it shut away and not divulge it to anyone, I should reject it. There is no enjoying the possession of 
anything valuable unless one has someone to share it with. I shall send you accordingly the actual books themselves and to save you a lot of trouble hunting all over the place for passages likely to be of use to you, I shall mark the passages so that you can turn straight away to the words I approve and admire. Personal converse though and daily intimacy with someone will be of more benefit to you than any discourse. You should really be here and on the spot, firstly because people believe their eyes rather more than their ears. And secondly, because the road is a long one if one proceeds by way of precepts, but short and effectual if by way of personal example. Cleanthus would never have been the image of Zeno if he had merely heard him lecture. He lived with him, studied his private life, watched him to see if he lived in accordance with his own principle. Plato, Aristotle and a host of other philosophers, all destined to take different paths, derived more from Socrates' character than from his words. It was not Epicurus' school, but living under the same roof as Epicurus that turned Metrodorus, Hermarchus and Polyinus into great men. And yet, I do not summon you to my side solely for the sake of your own progress, but for my own as well, for we shall be of the utmost benefit to each other. Meanwhile, since I owe you the daily allowance, I'll tell you what took my fancy in the writings of Hikato today. What progress have I made? I am beginning to be my own friend. That is progress indeed. Such a person will never be alone. And you may be sure he is a friend of all. It's a beautiful letter. It's... It's something that, that touches me, that, that, that tells me that just having a simple conversation over a cup of tea or, or over a cup of coffee today with a friend of yours might give you an idea of what that person believes or what that person is standing for or whether that person is worth your friendship or not or worth your time or not or vice versa. But then if, if you have an opportunity to live with this person, you can know this person inside out. It grows you as well. It evolves you as well. You, you, you get more worse, well versed with your own inner beings as you understand the complexities of the other person while you are with that person. You are challenged somehow that it's not necessary for you to be of the same value set or of of or of having the same mindset as the person you are with so in the today's scenario if i have to if i have to see this particular letter in the today's scenario i would see it as the successful friendships in which not necessarily you share each and every detail but you are aware of how the other person behaves when they are in their personal space or when they are in 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 their homes in their uh, in their original self uh, zone and in which you have that clear demarcation in your mind that this person is in front of the public like this he is in in front of the public but like this he is when he is with himself or herself and, and this is this is a very this is a very nice idea in this letter that he says that you know if if I am given the opportunity to gather wisdom and if I'm asked to you know shut it away and not divulge it with anyone I would rather not accept it and it's something that that's resonating with my thought of sharing this letter with you guys that. I feel the same like if I'm reading this all alone and if I'm not sharing it with anybody what's the point of it 
where where will i go where will i uh, you know live that that wisdom if not via sharing because via sharing uh, i might get to know your views as well which might be absolutely different which might be absolutely unique to what this guy is saying uh, you know 2000 years before so yeah this is uh, i think this is making uh, a rhythm this is making a sort of the momentum that i was talking about in the last video that uh, we're going somewhere i i feel so that we're going somewhere so share your views share your ideas with me uh, whatever they might be i'll entertain them and i'll i'll respond i'll react and uh, feel free to share this with the people that you find are interested in philosophy and this is my attempt to make a good use of my free time so yeah i'll come back again with one more letter probably two more and uh, yeah catch you soon okay good night bye bye